end. Let us take our Bibles. It is time for call to worship. Our Bible reading is in the book of Psalms 95. Psalms 95. If you're there, just raise your hand and let me know that you are in Psalms 95. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I will be reading the whole of the Psalms and then we will just read the emphasis verse only. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So you listen kindly and just listen to my voice. Praise the Lord. Amen. Verse 1. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with thanks. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you hear his voice, mm. harden not your heart mm. as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, mm. when your fathers tempted me and proved me and saw my work. Mm. Forty years long, I was grieved with this generation and said, it is a people that do err in their heart and they have not known my way. Mm. And, to him, and to whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord for his word. Amen. We are going to read all of us together verse 4. One, two, go. In his hands are the deep <laughs> Of the, earth. the strength of the hills is his also. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is there any testimony? Do we have testimonies in our midst? If you have a testimony, just raise your hand, then we will unmute you to you can give us a testimony. Brother, brother Emmanuel. Okay, Brother Emmanuel, go on quickly. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so happy and glad to be alive in the land of the living. I just want to thank God for GKC Milk and Honey Center. I want to thank God for keeping us alive. We've not had any bad news about our brothers and sisters, though some places may be tough and difficult, but we will scale through. God has been full. God has been merciful to us. I want to really appreciate God for his loving kindness over me and my family and also my milk and honey family. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Any other testimony? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have a testimony. It's yes. Yes, brother. Um, I want to bless the name of the Lord because last week I was almost losing my two legs. This week, but I thank God. He he gave the shame to the devil and he took all the glory. Mm. It was a very terrible accident and I knew it was only God that could have just rescued me and nothing else. Assuming it was just a little more push, a one inch push, my both legs would have been broken by now. It would have been a different story. Mm. But I bless the name of God. At least if the legs are not straight, they, they look leg, leg crooked, but they are legged these men. And they've been there for long, and I thank God for giving it to me. But I'm grateful that God did not let the enemy put shame on any one of us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Your testimony is permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Hannah. Mute your phone. 
I'm very happy this morning and you know um grateful to God for his loving kindness towards me for his faithfulness. God has just been awesome. He has been with me. He has been there all the way. Um as as we all know, this is the month of grace and it is my month of birth. So I'm thanking God for my birthday in advance, which is on the 14th. I have seen the grace of God that has kept me and held me and seen me through so many circumstances and so many situations. I just want to thank him because I'm not worthy, I'm not faithful. But he has made sure that his grace is always sufficient unto me. For this reason, I want to say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody else with a testimony? Brother Stephen. Mute your Hello. Hallelujah. First of all, I want to thank God for the gift of life and for the salvation of my soul. Amen. It has been it has been tough, but God has God God has God is faithful. Mm. I've been home for two months doing nothing, but God raised a man of God, it is Pastor Nixon, to fix me somewhere, just for me to be managing. And I thank God that I've been going out and I'll be coming in safely. I want to return all the glory to God. And may God continue to bless Pastor Nixon and his family and Pastor Abraham for their prayer that devil have not put that God that my dev, God, devil have not put me to shame. I've returned all the glory to God and thank you, Mick and Honey Center. I'm happy we can see ourselves once more and we are in life and we are healthy to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You will not be ashamed in Jesus' name. Brother Amen. Chris, Brother Chris M. Okay. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, my name is Christian. I just want to thank God for the gift of life and uh, everything he has been doing for me, most especially at my workplace. Uh, on the fourth of this very month, that was on Wednesday, our company conducted uh, the COVID test for all the staff. Mm -hmm. And to God be their glory. Some of us are saved, and uh, some few people were found positive, and uh, we are not included. I mean, all the Africans working under the company, and it can only be God. And again, some mm -hmm. few weeks back, God still blessed us and my family with a very beautiful car. And uh, I just want to return all the glory to God. And I know that this pandemic, God will help us. We are going to come back with praise and worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Any other testimony before we close the chapter? Uh, Mrs. Welcome, our uh, sister Margaret. Sister Margaret. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's so good to see every one of you healthy and sound and more beautiful and handsome. I want to thank God for all he has been doing for my family, mostly for my husband, for his protection. My husband has been going to work, even during uh, last month when they, well, they called back the uh, so, some people to open, uh, resume work and uh, some more to open. And I thank God my husband has been going to work and has been returning, returning back safely home. So I wanted to give God all the glory for his protection, for his guidance over his life, and for our family in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I think the testimonies are now finished. Let us just open our mouth I, and thank the Lord. My hand is up. <laughs> okay. Sister Tabi. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God, church. Hallelujah. Yeah, I just want to thank God for everything. As much uh, as everyone has said, it's not by our might, not by our power that we are all healthy as uh, milk and honey church because we have not had any case of this pandemic among our brothers and sisters. 
and uh, to bring it closer to my family also, I want to thank God because none of my family members has been attacked by this monster. Uh, also, I would like to thank God on behalf of my husband. He added a year to his uh, age. And um, another testimony is that during the time they called the people to go back to work, my husband was among the list of the people who are going to stay at home. Uh, and that means, of course, no salary. So, which means I'm not working. And it was a whole stress of, of, on us. But we thank God because we prayed and we said we committed ourselves unto God. We said, if it is his will that he should be home, there is a reason for that. Just a day to when people are resuming, the manager called and told him that he's, uh, he has been called to come over. We just want to give God all the glory because he has been going out, coming in, using public means, and he's been safe. He's been coming home safely and going out. So we just want to give God all the glory. And uh, to add on that, I just want to request uh, each and every one of us, please, to remember my, our son. He is not feeling so strong, but I know by the power of his healing hand, he shall be okay in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The Lord will protect us all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us thank the Lord because of this testimony. But it is God, not God, man's God, doing, God, but the work of the Lord. Almighty, we should Lord thank Jesus him Christ, for all the God, testimonies God, that he has brought in God, our God, center God, as God, milk and honey. God, Let us thank God, him God, because he's a faithful God. God he's the only God, God as we have seen in Psalm 35. He's the only God that we can call God. And there's no other name above his name. Let us just thank him. Father, we thank you, we worship and exalt you. Thank you, Lord, for all this testimony that you have brought, oh Lord, my God. We thank you, Lord, my God, because it is not my doing. It is your hand. It is your hand, my God. We return all the glory back unto you, Almighty God. We worship and exalt you. And in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 We are also going to thank the Lord because of our nationality, where we come from. We should thank the Lord for our countries, where we come from, but that I'm the right. Lord has protected us. The Lord has protected our country. Let us pray for our people back home, that they will not be touched by this pandemic in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We worship and exalt you. Thank you, Lord, for our country, Kenya. We thank you, Lord, my God, because you are God. And Lord, my Father, we pray, oh Lord, that the tsunami of the blood of Jesus, Lord, will sweep over Kenya, my Father. No work of the enemy, my Lord, my God, will touch every country in Kenya in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, my God, for every nationality, oh Lord, my God, that is represented in this case. Father, Lord, protect them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, my God. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are also Amen. going to pray for Israel. The Lord has instructed us that we should always pray for the salvation of Israel. So we are going to remember Israel today. That the Lord will keep them safe for our sake in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Father, Father we thank you for Israel. We pray for the borders of Israel, my Father. Lord, we pray that you will keep them safe. We pray for their salvation, O Lord, my God. My Father, Lord, my God, save them for our sake in the name of Jesus. Lord, we worship and exalt you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We are also going to pray for GKC as a whole, that the Lord will continue keeping us safe even during this pandemic. Mm -hmm. We shall not be put to shame. Amen. None of us will be attacked by this pandemic mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray for GKC as a church, that we will continue holding on to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We exalt and glorify you. Thank you, Lord, for GKC. 
Father Lord, we will continue standing strong in your name, in the name of Jesus. We pray, my Father, none of us, O God, will fall down in this pandemic in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, my God. And in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is time for the hymn. Back to the pastor. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Shall we go to the hymn? Sister Margaret, lead us in the hymn. Okay, in the absence of Sister Margaret, shall we just begin to worship God for this, for the next section Praise that we are Lord. going into right now? Sister Margaret, Hello. are you on board? Yes, I'm here, sir. Well, we have been waiting for you since. No, I was thinking they want to display it first. I, 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 was, I thought it be, Mr. Ben had to display the hymn first, then we can all sing together. But let me take, let me just lead it. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, our theme is what a friend we have in Jesus. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins are grief to bear. All our privilege to carry. We to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we have to forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not die. Breathing to God in prayer. To have with trials and temptations. Their trouble anywhere. It should never be destroyed. Keep to the Lord's prayer. Can we find our friends so faithful? We all are sorrow share. Is a total empty. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? But we the Lord of care, the Savior still a refuge. to the Lord in prayer. Do the friend despise for safety. Take it to the Lord in prayer. 
the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Brethren, shall we just open our mouths right now and begin to appreciate this great friend? What the song says, what a friend we have in Jesus. Indeed, God is a wonderful friend that has never left us alone, that has never deserted us, that has never forsaken us. Let us begin to appreciate this great God and begin to worship him, give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration for he is God and his name the Lord is to be exalted. Brethren, open your mouth and begin to thank him, thank this great God, thank this great God. Father, we worship you, God, we bless your name, God. There is none like you, God, who are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the ancient of days, the lion tribe of Judah, ancient of days, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Take the glory. In the name we have worshiped. In Jesus, mighty name we worship. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 27, Psalm 27, Psalm 27 and verse 12, it says, Psalm 27 and verse 12, it says, Deliver us not unto the will of our enemy. It is God that has never delivered us to the will of our enemy. In this COVID-19 that is happening right now, the enemy has his own plan and his own will. And his own will is to cause shame in the life of believers. Brethren, please note that anytime you see this kind of situation happening, the first target of the devil is the children of God. He wants to bring them down. He wants to use that situation that is happening around them to cause shame in their life. But the Bible now is saying, Sam David said, he said, deliver us not unto the will of our enemy. For false witness are risen up against us and such as bread cruelty. You begin to thank God now that God has never allowed us to see shame. He has not delivered us to the ends of our enemy. Brethren, open your mouth and begin to thank God. Begin to give him praise. Begin to worship him, the Lord that has never delivered us to the will of our enemy. The enemy has his own plan. He has his own plan. Deliver us to the will of our enemy. That did not deliver us to the will of our enemy. Our enemy's will is to cause shame. Our enemy's will is to cause distress. Our enemy's will is to cause fear. Our enemy's will is for people to be tested positive COVID-19. But praise be to Jesus that has never allowed such to happen. Our enemy's will is to cause faith in the places of work. But thanks be to God, Almighty God, that has never delivered us to the will of our enemy. Brethren, open your mouth and just appreciate this great God. He is worthy, he is worthy, he is worthy, he is worthy. He is worthy of our praises. Oh God, we worship you, God. We thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Bible Amen. says in these particular verses, it tells us and it makes us to understand that the enemy also has its own will. As Jesus has his own plans and purpose for his children. He said, for I know the thoughts that I have towards you. Now Jesus is speaking in the book of Jeremiah. For I know the thought that I have towards you. The thought of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. That is Jesus. His own plan for us as children of God. David also is making us to understand that even the enemy also has his own will for us. Psalm 27, 12, he said, praise be to God that he did not deliver us to the will of our enemy. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Sons and daughters of GKC, brethren, just say thank you, Jesus. Just say it from your mouth, from the depth of your mouth, and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You did not allow the enemy to prevail upon us, oh God. We say thank you, Jesus. We magnify your name, oh God. 
to you alone be the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Brethren, just in two minutes, I want to sing a song. And I want everybody, wherever you are now, please, if it will take you to stand up, even if you are not standing up as you are seated, I want you to sing this song with me in spirit, in spirit, in spirit. Let it come from the depth of your spirit. Let the spirit, even your environment, know that indeed you are praising God. It's a simple song. We all know the song. So if you have the liberty to stand up and dance, please do that right now. But if you know you are comfortable sitting down, you can also as well dance while you are seated and give God this praise. It's a simple song. It says, Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, 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 you are good. In our life, you are good. Jesus, you are in our ministry, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Hey, Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, 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 you are good. In a family. You are good. Jesus, you are good. Father, we worship you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen, 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 amen. In Jesus' mighty name. It's so refreshing in the presence of God. Even if we are just to come together just for this service alone and magnify this God, it's more than that. Hallelujah. Bible says in the book of in the book of Psalm, chapter 53. He said, the Lord looked down from heaven and he sees people with understanding. He's checking out them that does these people have understanding of what I have done for them. He said, let me look down from heaven and see. And he behold, he said, we lack understanding. We lack understanding because we really don't know. Verse 2, he said, God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand that did seek God, hallelujah. That is just what God is looking for every time. He's looking for the art of men, how it is to him. Do they have understanding what the enemy had planned during this COVID-19? Brethren, if God had revealed it to you, you will be shocked. Nobody will force you to praise God. Nobody will force you to thank God. Because as it were, devil or COVID-19 is not a respecter of either you have money or you don't have. It's not a respecter either you are white or you are black. <laughs> it's not a respecter either you are old or you are young or you are beautiful or you are handsome. That is the devil. And that is COVID-19. As many he have fled, he have fled death. And those people who, who, who we heard that they are dead in all part of the world, do you think you are holier than them? Or do you think, oh, because you have money than them, that is why you are alive? Or you think because you are smart? Or oh, oh, because oh, I'm, I'm in the region of UAE, that is why I did not get infected. No, people, even in the country you are, in United Arab Emirates, some people were infected with COVID-19. You had Brother Chris, you had his testimony. He said they came to his company and they came to conduct tests for all the staffs. He said, glory be to God that some of them, kingdoms, kingdom citizens, 
people who are partakers of God and inheritances. He said they were what exempted because they were not they were not tested positive. But some people were tested what positive. So it's not a respecter of maybe you are in UAE. Oh, you are in a very nice environment. That is why devil is so wicked. So sons and daughters of GKC, I just want to appreciate God for your life. For God to make me to see your faces again. I give God the glory over our families, wherever they are. Some of our children are not even with us, but yet God is with them. You see, that is why the Bible says sometimes the strength of men will fail him. What strength do you have? Or what power do you have to shoot over your children, wherever they are? You don't have anything, if not God. If not God, if not God, that is with those people. Those children, as where they are, they are in Europe, they are in London, anyway, whatever part of the world in Africa. It is just God, not because, oh, they have fatherly care or they have motherly care. God protection is upon them, your family, your parents, every one of them. God is protecting them. We give God the glory and we bless his holy name and may his name alone be highly exalted in the name of Jesus Christ we have worshipped. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Brethren, I so happy and delighted this morning to see many faces. Many faces this morning looking more beautiful and handsome. And I believe as well that some of us are watching from Facebook and YouTube. But as many who are here this morning, I thank God for your life. And I bless the name of the Lord Jesus for making me to see you again. Pastor Nixon and the family, God bless you. Sister Charity, God bless you. Sister Stephen, God bless you. Brother Stephen, God bless you. Sister Anna, God bless you. Abiola Adeniyi, God bless you. Sister Miriam, God bless you. Brother Chris, God bless you for that testimony. And that testimony shall be permanent. Brother Emmanuel, God bless you. Sister Florence of Oligos, God bless you. Sister, brother and Sister Fonko, Mr. and Mrs. Fonko, God bless you. Daddy and mommy, God, oh my God, <laughs> praise the Lord Jesus. Daddy and mommy, God bless you for joining us for this wonderful service. Amen. Akus, Brother Kinsley, God bless you. Brother Julius Kayode, God bless you. Sister Tabby, God bless you. Prince Kofi, God bless you. David, God bless you. Temitopa Ifelaja, God bless you. Brother Shurima, you are blessed in the name of Jesus. Brother David, God bless you. Every member, GKC Mikanoni, sons and daughters of GKC Fujera, I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Ah, Dickiness Betty also is with us here. We are, we, are, we are very grateful. We are very blessed to have our wonderful mothers and fathers with us in this service. What a blessing. Mikanoni Center, we are always blessed and we give God the glory for these blessings. It is marvelous in our eyes. And we cannot take it for granted. We just want to appreciate God. God our sons. I also want to appreciate God for your life. May God Almighty continue to bless you in the name of Jesus. My time will be very short, just to admonish us and just to encourage us this morning. Praise the Lord. I don't know how many people remember the last message that God gave to us while we congregated together at Mikanoni Center. The last service we had before the lockdown. How many people can remember? What was the title of the message? If anybody can remember, please, I want to see you by signifying your hand. If you can remember the title of that message, if you, are, if you know the title of the message, I want to see. By lifting up your hands, anybody with me in the house, or what was the song that Holy Ghost gave to us? There was a particular song that we sang that day. That day, there was a song that Holy Ghost gave to us, and we sang the song to shame the devil. And that day, devil terrified. He was so afraid. He said, what? How can these people come up with this kind of understanding? That is why me, I'm not surprised that every sons and daughters of GKC, Mick, and Oni, and even GKC all over the world, we are covered. You know, there are some things that you are so sure that it cannot come near you. It is mm. so sure. There is no how we can have such wonderful service, and God gave us that powerful declaration, and he gave us a song from the realm of the spirit. And we sang that song, we danced to shame the devil. That is why I'm so sure that me, Canoni Center, Fujera, and all sons and daughters of God's kingdom citizen, we are protected. How many people remember? Okay. In order to save our time, let me just remind you the song. It says, lifted. lifted. I am lifted. I am lifted by the Lord. 
above COVID-19 into the presence of the Lord. Do you remember now? Lifted, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are lifted, we are lifted by the Lord. Above coronavirus into the presence of the Lord. Let us sing it all together. Lifted, we are lifted, we are lifted by the Lord. Above tribulations into the presence of the Lord. One more time, everybody. Lifted, we are lifted. We are lifted by the Lord. I hope we do nation into the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is exactly our position in the spiritual realm. We are lifted above every situation. He said he has made us to sit in high places above every principalities and power. That was the message God gave to us on that day. We never knew we would not meet again. But God just prepared us down and he sharpened us. He is still in us, the spirit of courage and boldness. And we challenged the devil that day. We never knew we were not going to meet again as until this time. But we praise be unto God that we always lead us per time. In GKC, God's kingdom is in through our Father in the Lord. We have never been stranded. He will always give us a message per season a message that is as relevant as Jesus, because Jesus is relevant all the time. So messages that always come from the altar of God's kingdom citizens are messages that is sent from heaven, just for us to do what for our life and spiritual muscle to be built. And we give glory to God for that message. And may his name alone be praised in the name of Jesus. There is no how our father will be in our midst without hearing from him. It is very important. So that is why I'm just going to spend like 10 minutes. Me, I want, I like to be taught, to be too taught. And praise the Lord. Before me, I will bring my daddy on board. Daddy, please just permit me to go this way. Hallelujah. I hope daddy is still with us. Or has daddy gone? Hallelujah. Amen. Daddy is with us. Excellent. So there is no how daddy will be with us that we don't, we will not take from where, from the, uh, from the grace that is above, because it is always good for us to do what? To receive from who? From the above grace. So me, I also, I want to be partaker of today's blessing. But before that, I will bring that you on board. There is a testimony I want to share in line with this month's team, brethren. As soon as I share this testimony, I'm telling you, I'm setting this stage for that day. Uh, in the month of November, 2017, the theme for this month says, Living the word of God. Living the word of God. Brethren, that is everything we have got as believers. You are not a Christian or you are not a believer by the big Bible you carry. You are not a Christian or believers by putting on suit and you are telling your brethren or your colleague, don't you see I'm putting on suit and going to church? That does not make you a believer or a Christian. You are not even a believer through the speaking in tongues. You are speaking in tongues, you can speak in the Holy Ghost. That alone does not make you a believer. You are a believer, you are a Christian. What? When you live the lifestyle of Jesus, that is it. So I'm going back to that testimony. That was the same thing that came in the month of November 2017. I remember, I will not forget. Why I am excited with this month's team and why I'm just very swift to share this testimony is to encourage somebody and to boost somebody's faith, to tell you, Outside of the word of God, nothing happened. Please note it down. And inside of the word of God, everything happened. I say it again. Outside of the word of God, nothing happens. But inside of the word of God, everything is permitted to happen. It does not matter. It does not matter how tense that situation is. You just be rooted. You bring that situation inside the word of God. Everything must respect that word. Hallelujah. This month, uh, that month of November 2017, the theme for that month was living by the word. I will not forget. Living by the word. You can see it's the same thing that God has given to us also this month. That is why I just know that the testimony God did then is also available and is ready to deliver the testimony up 
for as many who is ready to kill him. Hallelujah. We just finished Maximony Park on the third day of Maximony Park in that month of November 2017. We finished the Maximony Park. Daddy pumped us with the word. Hallelujah. That day it was as if I should see the head of the devil and break the head of the devil. You know, there is a way you will be ministered to and your faith will come alive. There is a way you will be ministered to. You will just be, you will just look at ah, you will see yourself as giant. That was exactly what happened that month. So we finished the third day of Maximony Park. Everybody was so, you know. Filled with the word of God. Then I picked my car, my family, they were, they were together inside the car, and I was driving down. I was driving from Dubai. Please listen to this testimony. From Dubai to Ajima. When I was approaching my home, praise the Lord, police officer stopped us. He said we should pull, pull over. My wife was in the car. My two kids were in the car. So I pulled over, and he came to me. He said, Abibi, Molokia, your, 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 your car paper. Then I gave him my car paper, knowing quite well that my car paper was already expired. So I've not been able to renew. So I just, you know, confidently I gave him my car paper. Then he looked at it. He said, okay, your car paper expired. I said, yes, I know a baby. He said, okay, give me your driver's license. Brethren, I was not having my driver's license that time. I was not having, it was not with us. So I just told him, I said, Abibi, I don't have. He said, you don't have? You don't have a driver's license and your car paper expired? Is it a BB? Too much trouble with you. In my mind, I said, I reject it in the name of Jesus. Brethren, knowing quite well that actually I knew it's not allowed according to the UAE law to drive without license that time. And at the same time, you should not go out with an expired car. Sons and daughters of God's kingdom citizen, I'm sharing this testimony just to be a blessing. But there is one thing I wanted to pick from it. So that is not a license for you to drive car without license. That is not also a license for you to drive an expired registration. So he asked all these documents and I gave it to him. He said, this is a big trouble. You know what the man did? He stopped a taxi and he told my wife to come out from the car. He opened the taxi, he said, madam, you, your children, enter taxi and go home. Go home, go home, go home. Your husband is in big problem. Don't forget, we are coming from Maximum Park Church from Maximum Impact Program, from Dubai. I was, we were coming from there. And don't forget, I told you after that word, it was as if I should see the head of the devil and break it. Because I was so filled with the word of God. The word of God came alive in my spirit and soul. And I was so lively. So they took me to their car. They said, enter the car, baby. I didn't argue with them, I entered the car. But my wife refused to enter the taxi. He said, no, I will not leave my husband. So she stayed beside the car. So they entered the car. As soon as I sit, seated, you know, sit in the car, I begin to speak in tongue. I begin to blast tongue, as in I was not even careful of my environment. I begin to bring the word of God. I begin to share the word of God. As I begin to speak the word of God, I begin to quote the scripture. The police officer that sat in front of me said, Abibi, you make noise. I said, yes, boss, let me go. He said, what? What's you speaking? I said, boss, let me go. I begin to speak in tongue. And I begin to bring the word of God because I just remember, how can I leave the church of God? And Pastor Lambert, the daddy told us that the word of God is everything. It does not matter the situation you are confronting with. You speak the word of God. I knew what I did was wrong, but there is a mercy, grace, you know, on the throne of God. I begin to speak. Then this police officer that was sat in the uh, driver's seat said, Habibi, what use language are you speaking? I speak both. Let me go is what I'm speaking. He said, really? He said, yes. You know what he did? He unlocked the car. He said, go out. He said, go out, go out. Then I came out. Then the, pol the second police officer now asked him, why did you leave him? They were speaking Arabic. He now said, let him go. They began to fight. Both the two police officers, they began to fight. Serious argument. The driver said, let him go. The other guy that was with my wife outside, he began to fight the driver. Two of them began to fight for serious, like two minutes, serious argument. That one said, they will not let me. The other one said, let him go. That one said, will not let me. Brethren, to cut the story short, they drove off and they let me go. Brethren, brethren, can you see the testimony of God to tell you that outside of the word of God, nothing happened. But inside of the word of God, everything happened. Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it said the word of God is not like, let's go there, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Every one of you, please open your Bible. So I will not quote it. You will not just say it's pastor that says it, but it's Bible that says it. So you open your whole Bible and say, and see what the Bible says. 
Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Let me allow Sister Miriam to read it for us. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Sister Miriam, please read. Sister Miriam. Sister Miriam, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, please I'm read. here. Yes, read. 4 12. Hebrews. Chapter 4, verse 12. Hebrews 4, verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper hey, than any two. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For the word of God is quick and powerful. It does not matter that situation. Can you see the situation I found myself? I knew what I did was wrong. But come to think of it, this guy is just coming from church. And I told you after the message, I was like looking for the devil practically. Because the way that they preached that day, it was like this. That day has never preached such before. I say, word of God is everything. Where is the devil coming from? I never knew the devil or so as for so let me test your faith. Let me see how you want to attack me. And devil positioned that situation. Brethren, I wounded the devil in that particular sin. Fire what? The word of God. Please continue, Sister Miriam. And sharper than any two-edged sword, and piercing... than any two-edged sword. Continue. Piercing even to the divide even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit mm. and of mm. the joints and marrow mm. and is a designer mm. of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hey, hey, hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah. Can you see the word of God? It is strong and powerful. Brethren, you learn to live inside the word of God. I repeat again, anything outside of the word of God, nothing happened. But when you are inside the word of God is when everything happens. The word of God is powerful. It is sharper than two-edged sword. It pierces the word, the heart. It does not matter. The word of God is everything for us as Christians, as believers. As a matter of fact, it's the weapon you have in your hand. Now listen, it's not just you knowing the word of God alone. But you have to believe the word of God in faith. When there is faith inside of you, that is when it generates power. Praise the Lord. When there is faith inside of you, that is when it generates power. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 4, the anchor scripture for the theme of this month. It's just a story of two, two people, Jesus and the devil. When I was studying this scripture, I discovered that even both Jesus and the devil, they're not the word of God. Devil knows the word of God. Jesus also is the word of God. Of course, he knows the word of God. Now, it was a battle between the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. The same way I was in a battle with those people, myself, I believe I was in the light. The word of God was said of me. And they wanted to cause shame to a kingdom star. So it was two battles between two of us. And thanks to Jesus, the word of God prevailed. That was what happened also in this book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 4. A story of Jesus Christ when he was tempted by the devil. Devil also was speaking the word of God. Devil said, you are welcome, Jesus of God, Jesus, you are welcome. If truly you are the sons of God, you have the power, convert this stone to become bread because you are, you are hungry. Jesus said, I will refer you to the scripture. <laughs> he said, it has been written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the man of God, shall man live it? He said, really? You are taking me to the scripture. He said, okay, even me, myself, I know the scripture. He now took him to I, Pinnacle. Pinnacle, he took him to Pinnacle. He said, it is written in that word that you told me, that if I command this angel <laughs> to take you by their hand, that you will not dash your feet against the stone. Jump from this Pinnacle downstairs. Jesus said, really? He said, it is written. <laughs> That thou shalt not tempt the Lord your God. Can you see? Both of them, they what? They know the word. So Christians and believers, it is not only for you to know the word of God. There is need for you to know the word of God and let the word of God meet with faith inside of you. That is when you generate power. I pray for somebody this morning. I pray for you this morning. Everywhere the devil has wants you to see shame, I reverse it now and cause you to because continue to shine in the name of Jesus. By the power of God, I release the word of God to you right now. You kingdom citizens, meek and only center, you are watching me right now. I speak the word of God to your life. Let the word of God bring you out from that pit now 
and make you to shine in the name of Jesus. Word of God has been tested and it has been proved. It has never failed. It never failed. Now, brethren, I study that particular verse of the Bible. Why did Jesus prevail? Because both of them were speaking the word. Devil spoke the word. Jesus speaks the word. Why did Jesus prevail? Because at the third temptation, this same devil, he brought Jesus to the high mountain and he showed him all the treasures of the whole world. He said, look at it. The whole belongs to me. Bow down for me now and worship me. Jesus said, never. Get thee behind me, devil. Can you see that word? It's a word that is powered around faith. There is no how devil will not obey that kind of word. To tell you that the word or the words that devil was speaking was what was faithless. It has no basis because it was speaking it from where? From the realm of his darkness. But Jesus Christ being the word, Bible says, John chapter one, verse one, he said, he said, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and God was God and the word was God. That has been from the beginning. So Jesus being the word, spoke the word himself, hallelujah. He spoke it inside of faith. That was why he generated power and he brought testimony. That was why he was able to conquer the devil. Brethren, I speak to you this morning. I just speak to you this morning. Let faith rise up in you right now and begin to live in the reality of the word of God in the name of Jesus. That was the testimony. Same battle between myself and those people. They wanted me to see shame. They wanted to cause shame in my life and take me to wherever they want to take me to. And they asked my wife to go. But that day, I just saw the faith also in my wife. She looked at my face and I knew, you know, we didn't communicate. But that sign, we, as in, there is a way you will look at somebody. You didn't speak, but you communicated. We just said, we are coming from church. How can we see shame? This is not possible. She blasted in tongue and I blasted in tongue. So she was speaking in tongue outside the car. I was in the car with the police and I was speaking in tongue. The police was confused. He said, what is this? Which language? Why you make noise? I said, Abibi, let me go. He, 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 he didn't bother again. It was just with the steering. I began to speak again. Lord, I cannot see shame. Your word says. I began to quote the scripture and I, be, I was saying it in my language actually. Because if I had said it in, in English, he will understand. So I was praying in my language and I was speaking in tongue. So that's why the police was confused. Everybody was confused. Even the devil was confused. And they had no choice than to do what? Than to let me go. I pray for you as you are watching me. That situation you have right now, let the word of God bring you out now in the name of Jesus. I don't want to know how difficult it is or how tough that situation is around you. But by the power that is in the name of Jesus, I release the mighty hands of God towards your direction right now. And let that God bring you out now in the name of Jesus. It is well with you in the name of Jesus. That is what's a part of the teaching that he gave us that day. And brethren, I am a living testimony to that day service. Maximum part, November edition, 2017. The team of that month was living by the word. That is the same team that has come out to us again this month. Please be prepared. Don't joke with that team. Study the word and let faith rise up in you. And I know you shall also come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus. I want to use the opportunity to just appreciate God for that testimony and begin to thank God as we prepare our Father in the Lord. Hallelujah. As we prepare our Father in the Lord, that is going to bless us in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you great praise, O oh God. We give you adoration. May your name alone be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, take the praise, take the worship. No shame in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus, let the word of God begin to profit them now. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Daddy, we welcome you in the name of Jesus. Mommy, we welcome you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, everyone. Uh, we don't in, intend to uh, we don't intend to share this morning. Uh, we just want to see your proceedings and how God is blessing you. So uh, your pastor will continue his preaching shortly. Uh, but yeah, but I just want to also encourage you. You see, it is true. Everything you need in life is inside the word of God. I'm a living testimony to that. You understand? Uh, the challenge the Lord is giving to us this month and for the rest of your life, like we're sharing from uh, at Science and Wonders this morning, that uh, the only way you can profit 
is from the word of God. So how do you assess your profit from the word of God? Do you understand? It's very, very important for you to know that you don't need any connection from any man. Mm-hmm. You don't need. The greatest connection you need is God Almighty. And when, if the way of a man is pleasing with, to God, it will make your enemy to be at peace with you. So I challenge every one of you, strive for the rest of your life to please God at all times. Do you get it? The testimony that your pastor shared, I have also, I've also found myself in that kind of situation before. It means that testimony can be replicated. You understand? Your own testimony, people will hear it and they will glorify God for you in Jesus' name. When people hear your testimony, it's not, you know, in GKC, we don't, we don't do RNG, testimony RNG. It is what happens to people that people testify about. The mighty power of God. So everyone at Milk and Honey, I want you to be encouraged. Now, the Lord said something to me concerning your center. And I'm sharing with you now. Amen. If you know the prophetic name that you people are carrying, every day you'll be dancing before God. Milk and only center. <laughs> Milk and only. There is, there is one location in the old world that the Bible says is the land that is flowing with milk and honey. That is Canaan. Mm. Open your Bible to Deuteronomy chapter 8. You will see what God talks about. You can start the reading from, us, from chapter 7. You, you see what the Bible talks about the land of Canaan. None of you in this center will ever be destitute of miracles in Jesus' name. Amen. The blessing of God that money cannot buy, you must assess it. And your name will answer for you. I mean, your name will answer for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 10, I'm coming back to chapter 8. It says, now this month is the month of living by the word of God. Yes, sir. It says, let me read from verse 4. Deuteronomy chapter 6 from verse 4. Hear, O Israel, hear, O GKC, milk and honey, the Lord our God is one. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And this word which I commanded this day shall be in your heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently to your children and talk to them when thou sittest in thy house and when thou walkest by the way and when thou liest down and when thou risest up and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon your hand and thou and they shall be a frontlet between your eyes and thou shalt write them upon the post of your house and on your gate and it shall be when the Lord your God shall have brought thee into the land which he swore unto your fathers, to Abraham, and to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities, which thou buildest not, and houses full of all good things, which thou fillest not, and wells digged, which thou diggest not, Vineyard and olive tree, which thou plantest not. And when thou shalt have eaten and be full. You see? Can you see the blessings that the Lord said he's going to do for you? In the land he has positioned you. None of you miss it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said none of you will miss it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 2 of chapter 8. He said, and thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God had led you these 40 years in the wilderness to humble you and to prove thee, to know what is in your heart, whether thou would, wouldest keep the commandments or not.
He said, and he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knowest not. Neither does thy father know that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. Although he rained manna from heaven for them, but he just wanted to show them that this bread is nothing. Mm -hmm. The ultimate is the word of God. Mm. So you see, Jesus Christ was quoted from this account because he himself was living by the word of God. He was living by the, by the commandments that God gave to Moses. So you see, a lot of people normally tell us that uh, uh, the Old Testament is not relevant, the New Testament. You know, every scripture is given by the inspiration of God. That's what the Bible says. 2 Timothy chapter 3 from verse 16. All scriptures are given by the inspirations of God and they are profitable for one for correction. So I encourage you, every one of you, soak yourself in the word of God and stand on that word. Your pastor shared this testimony to let you know that it, it, it's not that you will not be tempted. It's not that challenges will not come. If you had kept quiet that day, you will have gone to jail. Do you understand? That is how God works. God will not say that the devil will not tempt you, but he will not tempt you beyond that which you are able to bear. That is the promise. Yes, so when temptation comes to you, God knows the kind of temptation you can handle. Now, if you don't handle them and you begin to cry, you are not going to graduate. You will not graduate. There won't be delivery of testimony. Mm. So what God is expecting of you is for you to build your, yourself in the word of God and become a giant, become a giant killer. Second Kings, I mean, Second Samuel, chapter 22. Go and read the account. The, 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 the servant of, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, David, they also became giant killers. These were the guys that came to David in First Samuel, chapter 22. But by the time you get to Second Samuel, chapter 22, they also became giant killers. They've stayed with David. They've gone to know everything about it they also started killing the descendant of Goliath. So I pray for you, may the hand of the Lord rest upon you. May God give you unusual appetite in the word of God. And may you know the word of God for yourself. May you know that the word of God is there for you to stand upon, not to cry at. So when situation comes, just the same way the devil checked out your pastor, yeah, he positioned those people. He positioned them that day. The same way the devil positioned also. The same thing happened to me. I mean, twice. But in, in all this period, how did I escape? By the word of God. If you live by the word of God, you will not see shame. If you live by the word of God, you will not see shame. People may be telling you that UAE is tough, UAE is this, blah, 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 blah. Tell them that this is your own land of milk and honey. Mm -hmm. tell them in fact when you are praying use your center to pray for yourself Lord I will drink the milk and I will eat the honor of this land you will see how God is going to begin to flow blessing to your lives it is well with you it is well with every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might quit mm -hmm. yourself like men don't allow the devil to preach to you. Situations are in the world. I was sharing with them. My sister, my blood sister, listen to me. She's in UK. She was down with COVID-19. I told her, woman, you are not dying. I'm not releasing you now. You are, you are coming back. I started praying on the water for her. She was rushed to intensive care unit twice. But by the mighty power of God, she came out. Hallelujah. The journey that some people have back on, they can't, that they can't make it. She said that in that hospital, in fact, they called her, they told her that she's the uh, star, that, uh, uh, star patient because her recovery was alarming. Do you understand? We stood on the word of God and the word of God delivered her. There is nothing the word of God cannot deliver.
can deliver good marriage to you, can give you good husband, can give you good wife, can give you blessed children, children that will not become wayward. The word of God will give you peace of mind in life. The word of God. There are profits that you can gain from the word of God. Your marriage will be peaceful. It will be heaven on earth. You can only assess it by the word of God. You can only assess it by the word. So we are not telling you cock and bull story. We are telling you what the mighty hand of God can do for you if you stand on the word of God. David, as a man, stood upon the word of God. You saw what the Lord made out of the shepherd boy. He became a king, the best king in Israel so far. And Jesus Christ, the son of God, even said that he was ready to come through the lineage of David to see mm. how blessed David was. Mm. Because the word of God was David's companion. So I challenge you, milk and honey, and every one of you that will see this video around the world, I'm challenging you. Outside of the word of God is gloominess, ugliness, shame. But inside of the word of God, yes, Lord. treasure, treasure, mm. treasure. Mm. When you get that treasure, you will just be rest assured in life. I lay hold on this when I was 16 to the glory of God. I knew when I got it, I was too sure of my future. Do you know, brethren, that I didn't pray for marriage when the, when the Lord gave me this woman? I didn't pray. How can your way be pleasing unto God and God will give you rubbish? It is not possible. And listen to me, brethren. Every child of God is ordained for glory alone, not shame. Because shame is not the nature of your father. Yes, sir. Shame is never the nature of your father. When we say in GKC, no shame. Some of you must have known by now. The Lord takes us ahead of situation. We are never stranded. When other people are cro when other people are trying to, what are we going to do now? What are the Lord has already stabilized us. He already, he already gave us a platform to reach his people before the pandemic. The same thing that mm. happened in all our places of worship. Mm. You can't stand on the word of God and see shame. When the mm. Lord moved us from Koro Oriental Hotel to Golden Square Hotel, you know what happened? By the time the Lord moved us from that place, there are other churches there. They were holding meetings there. Mm. Six months after we moved from that place, they closed the hotel. The hotel locked hey. down. Mm. The hotel closed up. But we already set you in Golden Square. We were already having a nice time there. There was no stagnation. There was no stampeding. Because the power of God is always available when you activate the word of God. Now, by the time Golden Square was becoming a, 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 you know, uh, a shadow of itself, the Lord moved us to uh, Empire Hotel. Do you know that Golden Square Hotel is closed down now? <laughs> Golden Square Hotel in Dera is, is closed down, not locked down by the government now. The owners of the building closed it up. Now, by the time we got to uh, Empire Hotel, do you know that the hotel closed up also? <laughs> but they still allowed us to stay at the top. I see your life, your life will not lock down. But for those of you who are in GKC, I'm telling you, GKC is a ministry where the Lord gives us what to do per time. Now, since yesterday night, we did, myself and my wife, we didn't sleep more than 30 minutes. But we are still ready to go now. If, we, if not for your time now, I can still engage you for the next three hours. Amen. <laughs> Pastor Nixon. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me allow you guys it is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I'm desiring a testimony, wonderful testimony for you this month of May, Amen. for your families. Amen. A unique testimony for your families. And as many people are with us online this morning, that my God will look at you and beautify your life with a testimony. Amen. It's a decree. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. Over to you, Pastor Abraham. God bless you. Yeah. Allow Thank us to you. go now, please.
Thank you, Daddy. You are very grateful, sir. Okay, bye-bye. Amen. Okay, then. Thank you, Daddy. 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 Thank you, Praise the Lord, everyone. We, we want to appreciate God for that powerful word of God. Reverend, that is, the Bible says in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17, verse 28, he said, in him we live, in him we move, and in him we have our being. Everything about our life is just loaded inside of the word of God. Brethren, what more can we say? When I begin to share testimonies of how God is working wonders in every people's life, and even in the ministry, when I begin to share it to us in our altar in Mikanoni, I know some people will be saying, this pastor, he can sweet talk. This pastor, ah, he has sweet mouth. It's not all about sweet mouth. I'm sharing the testimony of God. It is going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be, it will not be, it will not be right if I if I lie, because I cannot lie because lie is against the word of God. Whatever you see me share on the altar of God, to you, on in me canonic center, they are just the act of God. How may, how much can we say again, or what do we say again? You have asked yourself again every time, every time God leads the ministry per time. That's what me I'm too sure every members of source and. Every sons and daughters of God's kingdom citizen, we can never be stranded in our life. I'm telling you. You remember I said it sometimes ago. I said, when you know the ministry you belong to, you can even pray with your ministry and say, God, how many people remember? I used to say it. I used to say it several times. Because God bless you, because it has been tested, it has been proved. How do you explain it? We were in a particular location, they were causing new sons. They said, leave the place, leave our hotel. And by the glory of God, we left the hotel six months. The hotel closed down. We got to another place again. They become nuisance. I remember when we were in one, the place we were before, before we moved to the new location now in Dubai. We were in our service one day, and Baladia, they brought a fine of 12,000 dirhams to us as a church. They gave us a fine of 12,000 dirhams. They said we were making noise and everything. I remember the man of God took the, uh, the, the, the fine, and he lifted it off. He said, I canceled this fine. In the name of Jesus, brethren, how do you explain it? You were given a fine because of the revelation of the word of God that outside of the word of God, nothing happened. But inside of the word of God, everything happened. He lifted up the fine. He said, he cancel it. I knew that day. Many people were looking. Say that day, uh, I pity you. No, be Dubai we day. Are we not in Dubai? They gave you a fine of 12,000. You are saying you cancel it. Let us see. I am sure that was the position of some people that day. But some of us, we believe that there is something that is impossible for God to do. Guess what? The following year, when he wanted to go and renew the license of the church, because when you want to, every year you know you renew your, you renew your license with the government. And if there is fine, if you have fine, you must pay it. If you don't pay it, they cannot continue. He went there, license was renewed, fine was canceled. He didn't mean the fine there. That is the power of God. So. Inside of the word of God, everything happened. Brethren, it's just a challenge to us this morning because we said we're not going to spend a lot of time. The message I had prepared today, is so, you know, but we just thank God for how God is moving. We were not, we were not even expecting that today, but at least the word of God he has given to us. I pray that it's going to profit every one of us in the name of Jesus. The question I want to ask you this morning before I close is this word we are talking about. How close are you to that word? Do you really know the word of God? Don't forget John chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and God, and the, and God was with the word, and God was the word. So the word of God we are talking about is Jesus. Is Jesus. For as many people who are just playing church, 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 I'm a member of God's kingdom citizen. I'm a member of so, 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 so. And you don't really take your time to even study this word or to know this God, Jesus himself. May God help us in the name of Jesus. That same John chapter 1 verse 12 says, for as many that have received him, he gave it power to become the sons of God. John chapter 1 verse 12. For as many that have received him, the question I want to ask is, have you received the word? Did you know the word? So there is a power that sons and daughters of God need to exhibit. It is that power that we call the power of the word. The power of the word, unstoppable power of the word. 
That is the power he gives to as many that have received the word. So it's not all about you receiving the word alone. Let the word mix with faith, it generates power. For as many that have received him, he gave it power to become the sons of God. So many sons of God are not meant to see shape. Sons of God are not meant to be stranded. Sons of God are not meant to be relegated. Sons of God all the time, they remain relevant. I pray for you. You will continue to be relevant in your generation in the name of Jesus. I pray. You are watching me right now. That situation that you are in right now, and you are thinking, how are you going to come out of this situation? The same God that brought Moses out of that situation, the Israelites, that, that God bring you out now in the name of Jesus. It was only Moses who knew God then. The Israelites, they don't know God. What they know was Pharaoh. They didn't know God. Or let's, let's believe, okay, they, they knew God, but they, 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 the level of their understanding towards God was not matured. That was when, when they left the land of Egypt and they were about to go, and they, when they were going, in front of them, they saw the Red Sea. They said, my God. They said, Moses, why did you bring us out of the land of Egypt? You have just allowed us to continue eating our cucumber and garlic. Can you imagine? People that does not know the word of God will settle for less. People that does not know the word of God will settle for anything, anyhow. That is why I pity some people when they come to me and they say, Pastor, I need a job. I will ask them, what kind of job do you want? They will say, anyhow job. I just laugh. I said, this one does not have understanding. How can you say you want anyhow job? By the glory of God, I don't pray for such prayer again. You come to me, you say, I should pray for you. And you say, you need a job. I am saying, what kind of job do you want? You say, anyhow. No, you are a child of God. What if the devil give you a job that you work 14 hours a day? Are you not going to die very soon? 14 hours a day. I say 14 hours, not 12 hours. 14 hours, 15 hours a day. How long are you going to do that job now? And you think you will still be healthy? You think you will still be healthy doing a 14 to 15 hours a job? So children of God, we have to learn how to maximize or to use the word of God for ourselves. Don't, don't pray to God for any help blessing. You say, you are, Moses, please return us back to Egypt. Let us, it is better for us to continue eating our cucumber and garlic. But because of Moses knew the Lord, he knew the word, he said, be still, you will see the wonders of God today. Can you imagine? Anybody who knows the word of God, confidence and boldness rises up from you. I pray for you. That red sea you are confronting right now, let it be parted now in the name of Jesus. That red sea that is challenging your movement, that is challenging your progress, that is obstructing you, I decree by the name of Jesus. Let the rest be parted now in the name of Jesus. Make an center. Please prepare. The Lord also told me this last night when I was praying. He said, I should tell the sons and daughters of God's kingdom citizens, make an honey, prepare. This is what he said. He said, after this time out, that is exactly how I had it. After this time, after this time out, <clears throat> my people shall I continue to do big for me. I say it again. He said, tell your people, tell them to prepare. After this time out, that is after this whole lockdown, I'm telling you, you will all continue to be shining. As in, we shall be having divers of testimony. As in, you will begin to see testimony that will intimidate even you yourself. You will say, my God, how can this happen? But it can only be happened by God. Please prepare. It does not matter what you are going through right now. It does not matter, maybe you have even lost your job. If you lose your job, stand on that your word of God and say, no, pastor said I should prepare. In as much as God said it, or you were supposed to get an offer letter due to this COVID-19 now, they said they cancel it. <laughs> they only cancel their own work because God has a better place for you. Prepared. Or there are some businesses you were doing before and those been doing due to this COVID-19 now, those legitimate business now stopped or crashed. It does not crash. God is just giving you a kind of what, a, a kind of leave, a rest for you to do or to re-strategize. Because after this time out, God says, my people shall begin to do big for him. Diverse of testimonies. That shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. Brethren, begin to appreciate the name of the Lord Jesus. Begin to worship him. Begin to give him praises. Thank him for the word. Begin to speak to him and say, Lord Jesus, 
I thank you for your word, O oh God. I bless your name for your word, O oh God. Take the glory, take the praise, take the worship in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for the coming of your word, O oh God. Because you sent your word and your word in it. And it delivered us from our destruction, O oh God. We thank you, Jesus, because you have sent your word to us this morning, O oh God. And your word has healed our wound, O oh God. Your word has healed our land, O oh God. Your word has healed our faithlessness, O oh God. It has brought back faith upon us in the name of Jesus. Begin now to tell God now. Begin to speak the word of God. Whatever is that challenge you are confronting right now, begin to confront that challenge now with the word of God. And begin to address it and say, you devil, I speak against you in the name of Jesus. Whatever the challenges you are going through right now, begin to say, God, I come against you by the word of God in the name of Jesus. As the Red Sea parted in front of the Israelites, let you that challenge this pathway now in the name of Jesus. As, the, as Pharaoh and his chariot got sunk into the Red Sea, you that tribulation, you that problems of my life, you that tormentor that is tormenting my life, I challenge you. You must give way now in the name of Jesus. Begin to speak, begin to speak, begin to speak. Challenge that situations with the word of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Brethren, nothing happened by chance. This word of God has come to us this time. It's for somebody. It's for you, it's for you, it's for you. As I'm looking at you, it's for you. Please, take time to do what? To maximize the word of God. And I pray that your life will not run out of the word in the name of Jesus. Let this word bring blessings into your life in the name of Jesus. As many, you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to just rededicate your life back to Jesus. Perhaps during this day at home, somehow, somehow you are falling. Somehow, somehow you, 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 are, you, are, you are falling and you say, God, I want to retrace back my step to you, God. Where you are now, you can just lift up your hands as we pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your sons and daughters, oh God. They are saying they are coming back to you, God. Please accept them in the name of Jesus. That areas of their life that we are falling, oh God, please help us in the name of Jesus. Let this word of God, Lord, bring light and understanding unto them in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, Lord Jesus. This your children, oh God will not miss out again from your word in the name of Jesus. Write our name in the books of life. It shall be well with us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We thank God for this wonderful service. Before Sister Miriam is going to come on board, before Sister Miriam will come on board to share the announcement with us, I quickly want to say this. Because if not because it's online, the next segment now should be what? Offering and tithe. So that's why I want to use the opportunity to say this to you. As many who are covenant partners, covenant partners to God's kingdom citizens, you know what? Please do where to redeem your covenants. This is covenant. You can see the name, covenant partners. Not even like a normal offering. Not even like a normal giving. It is a covenant partners. So you are, a, you are in a partnership with God via covenant. And covenant is very important. It's very strong. Covenant should not be broken. God will not break his own side of the covenant. Not even you, children of God. Because we are sons and daughters of God. Please do well to redeem your covenant seed. On the 14th of this month is when the check of our venue will be going. On the 14th, you can see, you can imagine. Even in the midst of this COVID and everything, real estate, they are not taking it easy with themselves. They don't want to care. They don't want to know. They are saying, Abibi, nothing concerns us. Your check, your check is going. And we are all responsible for this. So as many God has blessed or as many covenant partners in the house, you are watching me right now. We thank God for your life. Please do well to redeem your covenant commitment. It's very important. So if you want to redeem yours, you can contact me, or you can contact Pastor Nixon, or you can contact any of the leaders, me or Pastor Nixon or Mommy Nixon, and we'll tell you 
how to go about it in the name of Jesus. Please don't eat it. Bible says, give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar and unto God what belongs to God. There are some things you will do that triggers divinity for your sake. God will just say in the midst of this situation, so meaning you can deny yourself and still do this. There are some, let me see, the kingdom of God is all about mystery. It is mystery. You cannot understand it with your physical mind. So when you try to be diligent about it, you see the results. So I encourage you, please do well to redeem your covenant commitment. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Sister Miriam, are you, are you, are you on board? Sister Miriam? Sister Miriam? She's not... Yes, sir. God bless yes, you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Let us just take a few minutes and uh, pray for the pastor, for the word that he has released upon our lives. Just where you are, just open your mouth and thank the, the pastor. Pray for fresh anointing. Pray for continuity and strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for God's protection upon his family. And also pray that he will see no shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We honor you. We exalt you, Master Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the word that's come our way. We pray that, Lord, you will give fresh anointing unto the pastor in the mighty name of Jesus. Refill him afresh in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we bless you and we honor you. And in Jesus' mighty name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. It is announcement time, so let us be keen, and the Lord will surely bless us. This is GKC, God's kingdom citizen for all nations and times. Our vision is to raise God-fearing and successful men and women who qualify to reign in heaven with Jesus Christ. Our mission is to take responsibility, is to make you take responsibility for your life. We have city of refuge all over UAE and also internationally. We have sign and wonder in Dubai. We have grace and glory in Ajman. We have life and peace in Sharjah. Power and dominion in Abu Dhabi. Arise and shine in Ras Al Khaimah. We also have greater light in Nairobi, Kenya. We have GKC, Kampala, Uganda. And we have milk and honey here in Fujaira. The theme of this month is living the word of God. And it has, we have drawn the strength from the book of Matthew 4, from verse 1 to 4. Hallelujah. Amen. We have been reminded that uh, if you've been connecting to the night vigils, pastor has been preaching unto us about the end times and how we should prepare ourselves and position ourselves in the right way with God. So we have been reminded as members of of milk and honey, let us maximize this season to maintain a right position with our God. We are also being reminded that um, we do well, like Pastor has reminded us about the covenant giving uh, partners. Please uh, redeem your covenant be in due time. And uh, you can call the pastor, maybe Pastor Abraham or Pastor Nixon or Mummy, and they will guide you on how to go about it. Also, the offering and the tithing. Like Pastor has said, give unto Caesar what belongs unto Caesar and what belongs unto God. Kindly don't uh, eat your offering, don't eat your, your tithe. We know the enemy can use anything to confuse us, but we pray that it's not going to be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. We are also being reminded that we start preparing ourselves soon. We are going back to the normal way and to have our services in, uh, in our centers. So let us continue praying and believing in God that the Lord will heal our land and everything will go back as normal in the mighty name of Jesus. We are also being reminded of the online services. We thank God for King TV. If you have not subscribed to any of the channels for King TV in YouTube, kindly do so. And let us join in in also Facebook for our lunch hour services, which take place every day as from 3 p.m. That is from uh, Sunday to Thursday. Day. We normally have a lunch hour from 3 p.m. Kindly join in when you have time. We also have vigil every night from 11 p.m. from Sunday all through to Thursday. And senior pastor has really been blessing us. So kindly, if you have not joined in, it's not late. You can start doing it and the Lord will bless you. We thank God also Bible studies has gone back. We have it every every Monday from 8 p.m. A link is will a, a link will be shared on our um, WhatsApp page so that you can be able to connect and hear what the Lord has in store for us. Also, we have a faith clinic every Sunday from 7 p.m. 
We've been connecting on Facebook and YouTube also. Kindly do so every Sunday and the Lord will bless you. We also have evening service today. Um, this one is also going to be live through Facebook and uh, in YouTube. Please join in and the Lord will also bless you. Hallelujah. Um, I will not say I will welcome our first timers because all of us today, we are first timers online on milk and honey. So I take this time to welcome us for the first time that we are here on um, the we are Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Sorry, we are having connection issues, but we thank the Lord that we are victors. Lastly, we are also being reminded that um, if you need maybe a special word of counseling with our pastors, you can reach them via Totok. You can uh, WhatsApp them or even directly give them a call. They are available for you 24-7. Hallelujah. Be your brothers and sisters keeper stay safe and stay connected in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah i welcome pastor abraham again just in case he has something to add and the lord will surely bless us Hello, Pastor Abraham. I want us to thank God for this session that we had. I believe God has been faithful. We started our first service together. And uh, we've seen the greatness of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe it's our first time to be able to be together. And God is going to do great and mighty things. And he's opening new channels and new ways for us to be able to connect with him in Jesus' name. So let us just thank the Lord. Take one moment, at least as we have seen each other. God is not as as much as where we get to close to one another and share together, but God has brought us through this connection of the ministry and the American Honey Center through this Zoom uh, church service, that we thank God for his greatness, for his goodness, hallelujah. Amen. We are endeavoring to be maintaining and keeping time that within one and a half hours we'll be finishing the service, hallelujah. So let us thank the Lord. Father God, we come before thy presence, Almighty God. We return all the glory, honor, and majesty unto you, Almighty God. We worship you, Almighty Father. Because as your word has come, Almighty Father, we have seen your great testimonies, Almighty God. The great things that you are doing in our midst of King of Glory. The way you are moving in our midst of King of Glory. We return all the glory, honor, and majesty, Almighty God. As we come to the close of our service, Almighty Father, we want to thank you, Almighty God, because you are all sufficient, God, of King of Glory. You are all gracious, Almighty Father. You are almighty, O King of Kings, Almighty God. We return all the glory and honor and majesty, Almighty God. For thy word, Almighty God, is our portion, Almighty God. That the Lord Jesus, Almighty God, as according to our theme for this month, Almighty God, living in that word of God, Almighty God, that shall be our portion of King of Glory, Almighty God. Let Jesus, Almighty God, be that word personified in our lives in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father. Let the word of God be everything that you need, Almighty God. And God is surely going to move mightily and greatly in our midst in Jesus' name. So, Father God, we thank you. We return all the glory, honor, and majesty unto you, Almighty God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory, for even this time we have come together, King of Glory, as you sharpen us, Almighty Father, 
as you use as Almighty God as vessels unto honor, King of glory. You do that new thing in us in Jesus. We thank you and praise you. And in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Before we say a benediction, Father, uh, Pastor Abraham, you have anything to say? No, sir. You can close the service, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. In two, Amen. three, let us say our benediction. Hallelujah. In the grace of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ and the love of God Amen. and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The Lord has kept us, neither sleeps nor slumbers. The Lord shall deliver us from all the evils of this month. This year, this year ends for and forevermore. Amen. Ephesians 2 19. Now, therefore, we are we no are more strangers nor foreigners, foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household, of, the household of God. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. you all in the name God of Jesus. See you on Monday for the Bible study. Hallelujah. Yes, remain connected and remain lifted. In Amen. the name of Jesus. I love Amen. you all in the name Amen. of Jesus. We love Amen. you Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Bye, everyone. Bye, Mrs. Funko. <laughs> I know you must stop. I know you must stop. Mama and Papa Juma. Mrs. Funko, when did you start wearing glasses? <laughs> we love you, Mrs. Funko. Eh? <laughs> she's now she's now a twins. The husband and the wife.